Welcome to Local Edition. I'm Bella Shaw. When Ventura County Supervisor Linda Parks has joined us, we've talked about water, trash, and uh, land use issues. But today we're going to talk about redevelopment agencies. And Linda, I guess that that is a land use issue as well, isn't it? It's a land use issue. It's also a, a redistribution of tax dollars. And uh, a lot of the money is for redevelopment agencies are supposed to go to cure blight. And it has been really abused, the whole concept of what is blight. And you see cities like the city of Thousand Oaks taking the nice grass next to City Hall, calling it blight so that they can develop it into a shopping center and get more tax dollars. And those tax dollars would otherwise go to core government services. Instead of it going to core government services, it's going to a billionaire, in this case, who's developed the land. And we're talking about Caruso, I guess. Yeah, Rick Caruso uh, did develop the Lake Shopping Center. And it, at least a, a million dollars a year is uh, diverted from what would go to, for example, our fire department. And instead it goes to uh, the shopping center. Is this uh, well, much? Well, uh, right now retail isn't doing as well as it could. But in the county of Ventura as a whole, uh, $72 million a year doesn't go to uh, the county, the fire district, the school districts, the uh, library districts. That money is diverted uh, for the city's redevelopment agencies. It comes out to almost a half a billion dollars in the last 10 years has been taken from uh, county core government services. So it's um, county versus city in a way, or city versus county? Well, it does put me in the situation where um, I'm uh, against redevelopment agencies who I think are using this as a tool for you know development when it should be used to cure blight. Whereas most of the city's city council members are very much in favor of it because they have the ability to get development in their city, get that nice uh, tax dollars for themselves. But it, it does deprive our school children. It deprives the people who use our libraries. It, it puts a greater stress on our fire department. So uh, there's a, a lot of concern about redevelopment agencies. The, the governor is looking at cracking down on, on the abuse of these. But I have to say they do, um, they do some good because a, a percentage of it, 20 percent, uh, can be used for uh, affordable housing. That's what it should go into affordable housing. And, and that has done uh, legitimately some good. So I think what the state is looking at, if they're going to uh, end redevelopment agency abuse, they do want to continue that affordable housing component of it, and I definitely support that. A lot of this redevelopment, uh, you think that a lot of it has to do with connections and contractors? Well, and that's what they're seeing with are. the abuse. You know, uh, certainly a, a billionaire like Rick Caruso uh, doesn't need to get free land to develop, and that's what uh, the city of Thousand Oaks allowed him to have free land next to City Hall to develop, and then actually paid for some parking places. Uh, they wanted angle parking spots, so a few hundred thousand more from the city, but you think about what that money could be used for instead, and government's hurting right now, and it's hurting uh, in part because people need more services in these bad economic times. People are hurting out there, and to be giving money for, you know, parking spaces when, you know, we need homeless shelters, for example, that, that, that's a, a, a bad skewing of our priorities, I think. And that makes it a real sensitive issue because of the economy, doesn't it? Yeah, because of the economy particularly, but I, I've been uh, concerned about the abuse of redevelopment agencies for a long time, and I, I, I continue to have that, and I, I think the governor is on the right track, but I know my fellow friends on the city councils and all uh, don't support that position. I guess we kind of have to look at what are we gaining versus what we're losing. Absolutely, and uh, county government has a general fund, and we use that to provide a, a lot we, of services. We'll pick it up there necessary. next time when okay. you're back, Linda <laughs> Parks. Thanks so much for joining us here on Local Edition. Now back to HLN.